Hey guys, I'm back with another video and I hope you guys have missed me. You guys have seen this list before because it is from the video that I just posted and I told you I was going to talk about a few more things and I got time today so I'm going to be talking to you guys in this video. No makeup so it's not going to be, it'll probably be long but not as long as the last video so you know because I'm not doing my makeup at the same time so yeah get your get your, your popcorn or whatever. No, grab your tea grab your snack grab something because this is going to be a story time i don't know what to call this story time i don't know if it's going to be the men i date story time but this one is going to be a story time and um yeah let's hop into it <laughs> The name that I'm going to give him for this video is actually the name that I call him outside of this video and we're going to call him Killa, okay? That's what we're going to call him. We're going to call him Killa. Um, that's what I called him um, amongst my friends. I don't even think my friends know his real name. Honestly, most of my friends don't know anyone's real name until we either stop speaking or they meet that particular person and they haven't met many people that I've dated since my ex. So actually maybe no anyway so nonetheless we're gonna call him killer for the sake of this video because i don't want to use his real name or his street name because you know he could be possibly very well known i know he's the least known in the area in which i live in and i don't know the people in my area that i live in but i don't know who watches my channel so we're just gonna call him killer for now or period okay so i met him at one of my girlfriends one of my really good friends birthday party i met her him at the end of the party so i'm trying to put my mic as close to my mouth as possible but the top that i have on isn't quite close to my mouth so <laughs> that's gonna be hard um nonetheless i met him at one of my friends birthday parties and we're both cancers and her birthday is like i think a week after mine and we went we went out to like this little lounge this was like obviously before like shut down and covid was like really taking off i don't even think covid was really being talked about like here like in the states i think it was being talked about like over there like i don't think it actually had even hit here yet as far as like in the states but um so i we we were at a party we had a really good time it was the end of the night literally we were leaving and like my friend was drunk her mom was like walking her out to the cars to leave like we were leaving and this guy started walking up towards us and i guess you know i guess they really clicked that he knew my friend and i'm like the party's over dude like first of all who do you think you are the party's over we're leaving it was fine it wasn't a big deal and he when i saw him like, i kind of looked he wasn't like his stature was a type of a person that i date but like him actually wasn't somebody i would actually date um or like that i would like look twice at so to speak i don't want to come off like i'm holier than thou like i get it so nonetheless he walked over um he was like oh you know he talked to my friend for a second like she barely would could even understand what was going on because she was wasted so she kind of got in the car her mom she got in her mom's car they were off and so me and i think i was there i think i was there with one of my other friends um too that came to the party with us and he you know we sat there we talked we exchanged numbers and we talked like very briefly but he came off so like i don't know like i don't know just came off very 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 nice charming very um confident personality and that is very attractive to me or was attractive to me in that time you know like just very like i don't want to say cocky but he was a little cocky and since i wasn't looking for anything serious at the time I felt like that that particular year, like 2019, I was dating those types of men because I knew I wasn't taking them seriously, to be honest. <laughs> that is so fucked up. But I was literally like dating those types of men, like cocky men, like I, like my normal guy that I'm gonna like I would date and settle down where it's completely different from a guy that I'm just gonna hang out with here and there. To be honest, with you. I'm gonna be honest, like. And I'm sure men have those types of things too, but 
for his personality, I already knew. I'm like, oh, all right, he's probably a player. He's probably on the BS. Perfect, because I'm not looking for anything serious. So we exchanged number. He actually was a little older than me. Um, at the time, at the time that I met him, he was already 40. So he was a couple years older than me. Um, and, um, you know, just a really, he was actually a really nice guy. So we actually met up, like, let's say that was a f Saturday was a party. We ended up, we ended up going out the following Friday. Um, we did talk on the phone, um, a couple of days after the party and it was funny when he called like he was like he was like one of those people he did not text texting was a no-go he would literally text me like are you busy and i'd be like no i'm not busy he would call like he did not text which i actually appreciated that but at the same time again my mentality back then was like i'm not trying to take him seriously so a lot of stuff that he did that was nice i didn't really read into because it was like nice but i'm still not i'm not checking for anybody serious like that so it was actually nice though so he called and he's talking i'm listening to him on the phone he's talking he's talking i'm just like i'm listening and i'm like i think he stutters which don't come for me okay guys like i'm not making fun of him or nothing like that but it was like one of those things where like he didn't do that when i when i saw him in person like when we were in person so i was like maybe i'm tripping so and he kept he kept doing it and i'm and it was like obvious it wasn't like it wasn't like he did it every couple of words. It was obvious. Like, he definitely stuttered. And I'm just like, let me. So I text my friend. I was like, hey, does Killer stutter? And so she sent me, like, a LOL, like, the laughing out loud face. And she was like, she was like, she was, she was like, a lot of people don't notice it anymore. And I'm just like, well, I don't know how because I hear it on, the, like, we're talking. So I hear it. And it's obvious. So I don't know if he was just nervous on the phone and then like that old strong stutter came out, whatever. We went out actually the following weekend. Like I said, we went to this nice little lounge, hookah lounge. It was real cool. Nice vibe. Everything was nice. He was super cool. He picked me up. He opened the cards. Like he was just, he was definitely a gentleman. I'm gonna be honest. He was such a gentleman, like, like 10 out of 10, as far as like our first date, such a gentleman up until okay i'll say up until it, but he was definitely a gentleman was very the thing that i did notice about him when we went out is he was quite flashy and when i say flashy i mean he like he was walking around with cash like cash like not just like you know look like cash okay super flashy he didn't wear a lot of chains but he definitely wore like a big chain that was like you know just attention grabbing which is not really my style not my, my swag but again i told you guys i wasn't looking for anything serious so like some of the stuff that i would, wouldn't be looking forward to like date it didn't really matter to me because i just knew it was gonna be like uh whatever so when we left we went to a place it was probably about 30 minutes from where i lived and then when we were leaving in his gps you know he had like the gps that shows up you know on, on your car dashboard or whatever and he put in an address that wasn't my home address so i'm like where are you going he was like oh i figured we can hang out you know at my apartment i'm just like yeah no like i don't know what you think is gonna happen but no he was like he was like for real i'm like yeah, he was like, well, no, I'm not trying to do anything. Like, we can just kick it and hang out. I was just like, nothing's going to happen. Like, I'm like, we're not, don't think you're getting any. Like, that's not going to happen. Like, it's not going to happen. Like, I don't know where you think you're going, but it's not going to happen. He was like, no, 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 I'm not going to happen. I was like, all right, whatever, you know, cool. I, honestly, I wasn't ready to go home <clears throat> or whatever. And again, I wasn't, <clears throat> I wasn't ready to go home. I was, not that I wasn't ready to go home. It was still kind of early. And I was just like, you know, it's cool, whatever. If he tries something, he's going to get shut down. Like, I know how to say no. I know how to turn all of that down. So it's not going to bother me if he even makes a pass. So we got there. I put my stuff in the fridge. And I'm looking around the, like, apartment. And I, it's like, I don't want to say it's empty. But it's empty. Like, like it has stuff but it don't have stuff like it looked like somebody who live here but don't really live here so it kind of to me it looked like the place you bring people that you don't want them to know where you live or you like this your whole house like yeah 
my slot house. Like, I don't know. It just gave off, like, do you really live here vibes? Like, it was definitely his place because like the doorman knew him and things like that where he lived they had like a doorman downstairs so the doorman knew him and things like that but it was definitely giving me off like bachelor slash i may have a girlfriend in this my second house type vibe like that's how it kind of gave off i don't really know um i'm i, I didn't mention it like eventually sometime point when we did it but nonetheless i was like whatever like he, there was a couch there was a tv there was a bedroom there was a bedroom set but like i said there was there was stuff in the apartment but it wasn't like it didn't feel lived in you, like you guys know what a lived in place feels like it didn't feel like that it just felt like like the fridge was kind of empty for the most part like water and like little things but it wasn't like it didn't feel like a lived in type of space so whatever we're sitting there we put on a movie we're watching it whatever and like he called himself trying to rub on me and stuff i was just like look you are not you are not getting any like i didn't say it but like you know i was kind of making little movements but he ended up you know taking a trip downtown and you know guys you guys know what that mean i don't need to explain it we're all grown here so you know taking a trip downtown and whatever and i guess he thought after that i was ready to be like okay now we can go all the way i looked at him i was like i told you we weren't we weren't doing that he was like well you didn't stop me when i did i didn't ask you to do that i told you before we even before we even left the parking lot of where we were yeah it's not gonna happen bro like here I am trying to be bougie, <laughs> whatever. Nonetheless, so he didn't say anything. He just laughed it off. He didn't make a big deal about it. He was just like, all right, whatever. I understand you did tell me whatever, whatever. I was like, okay, you know, if you wanted to take a trip, that's your business. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to turn that down from, you know, from you, but you know, don't think you about to get anything out of this deal. Whatever. I was just like, I was, I was straight like, I don't know what you call a fuck boy girl version. That was me 2019. Sorry, not sorry. Okay. I just got off of a long damn near nine year relationship. Didn't really care. Nonetheless, we, so we left. I ended, I actually ended up spending, not spending the whole night, but we were pretty much there. He said he worked somewhere like you know where they call you and then you have to be to work in 30 minutes. I forgot what he called. I think it was an engine an engineer. I don't really, engineer we're gonna go with that and so when he got the call you know he's like all right so that was probably like three or four in the morning and he dropped me home whatever and i went about my day we spoke here and there and then eventually we spoke and went out a few more times we did end up like sleeping together at some point in the midst of that and but again i kind of kept him at arm's reach like i wasn't really interested interested and i wasn't looking to be interested any more than what it was you know i was okay with it just being physical when i felt like it and that was that but the thing about dating him is that on the court in the midst of us dating even even after the first date, I think the second time I hung out with him, he gave off drug dealer vibes. Now, he would never say it. He never said it. He never hinted at it because, and he always told me this. He was like, you're like my, you're like a good girl. You're like the, uh, I forgot what he called it, but like, you're like you're like my nice girl like you're like the sweet girl you're like the good girl you're like the good girl like you know whatever like he always spoke like that he always treated me like that like to be honest with you like as far as like gentleman behavior and just like very i don't know how to describe it just very he was just very nice i'm gonna be honest but he always just tried to i don't know protect what he was actually doing from me even though like i'm not dumb like a lot of people say that to me like i'm a nice girl like you don't seem like you get mad like you just seem mad chill you don't seem like you went to drama x y and z like people say that about me all the time but like i'm not dumb like i know stuff i know words like i may not be a goon but i know goons okay so when he was saying like he would do certain things or he would take certain calls like you know i knew what time it was like i knew he was he would never admit it 
or I never, I never asked him because again, I wasn't trying to date him or anything like that. And I wasn't really trying to get deep into his business. And I just didn't, I just, I didn't really care because, you know, it was what it was and it was going to eventually fizzle out. And, you know, he just always did certain things. And then the, the fact that he carried a lot of cash on him, like, and I mean, like I say, it wasn't like he carried like a thousand dollars, like even a thousand dollars is a lot of cash to carry around, but it even wasn't even like that. It was like stacks of money. You know what I mean? So I know what time it is. Like I'm not dumb. You know what I mean? So I had said something to him, I'm like, yeah, you walk around with a lot of cash, like you mad flashy, like what's the tea? Like why are you always like you need to calm down, tone down. Like you're gonna get somebody's gonna rob you. Like you're flashy. He was like, no, you gonna rob me. Like he carried a gun. I knew he carried a gun. He had a license to carry a gun, but I know he definitely carried a gun. Um and things like that. He was like, no, I'm not. And he's he's the type of person, like he doesn't seem like a fighter. He seems like the type that's just gonna shoot you, to be honest with you. So He's like, no, 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 I'm not going to happen. So we had, we had gotten to this little argument. This is kind of how it all fizzled out. But that was that, you know, that was the gist of our relationship it was physical, but it was also, you know, he was good to talk to. He was definitely a gentleman, definitely a good person from what I know. I don't know him from whatever street life he lives. So I'm pretty sure other people's experience with him would be completely different. But I'm just speaking from my experience, not that anybody knows who I'm talking about specifically, but from my experience with him um, up into this conversation I'm about to get into in a second, he was actually really, really nice, really, really sweet and really, really just attentive. And I'm pretty sure I can almost guarantee other people's experience with him has been completely different. And I'm only saying that because of this argument that we have that ended up ending the situation altogether. Um, so he was very giving. He definitely, he didn't like pay any bills or anything like that, but he seemed like the type of person, if you let him, he would feel like he owned you. So I never put myself in a situation where I felt like, you know, I was just very, I guess I was kind of a dude and he called me that in this, a dude, you know, whatever that means to men these days. Um, he said, you act like a guy. And I was like, you know, I was like, well, I don't, I'm not about to sit here and beg you to pay a bill or ask you to pay a bill or ask you to like, if you take me out, you always ask me like, I'm, I'm not the, if I have to ask, I'm not going, it's not, I'm, I'm going to get it done. Like, you know what I mean? At the end of the day and you know. I can tell he was trying to like offer up certain things, but I also wasn't dumb in my mind that I knew the type of person he was. If he did certain things for you, he would expect certain things from you. And I wasn't naive to that mindset because he's definitely a like, I don't know if it's the right word, like if I do something for you, you do something for me type of person. He definitely gave off that vibe. And uh, I picked up on it very early. Like I, I already picked up on it early. So I was just like, whatever, you're not, ever, you're not ever going to get what you want because you did something for me. So I just made it a situation where he never did anything that was out of, you know, paying for dinner or whatever, paying for like us going out and stuff like that. I made sure like he never did anything outside of those things, you know, and that was that. When he came here, like there was no, you can't spend the night. You got to leave. You no, I'm not cooking. You can leave. Like, no, like, no, like there is no, you know, even like, we, even though we spent the night together the first night, like we didn't, obviously we didn't like have sex that night when we did spend the night. I've never spent the night with him after that. And so long story short, we got into this one argument. Um, and he was one that knew where I lived and he didn't know where I lived because I told him, um, he knew where I lived because, um, somebody that lives a couple of houses from me knows him and he's seen me. Um, or he saw me one time when I was leaving my house and he, you know, he saw me. So he knew where I lived. Not a big deal. I didn't really care about him knowing where I lived because he, he's not crazy and he wasn't, he's not, he's not that. So one day he was here, we were just kicking it. And like, honestly, we can talk. Like we had really good conversation. We were like up talking. He got here late. It was late. It was like 11 o'clock. It was so late. But again, 
it was a physical thing so I wasn't worried about the time but it was really late and we were up talking 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 till about 1 it may have gotten to about 1 30 so it was about two and a half hours and we were just in there talking just talking about random stuff and we he ended up we I don't know what we were talking about and he ended up saying something like men own and I said what I said what he was like yeah men own I was like oh so you're gonna say it again because usually when a woman says huh we looking for you to correct yourself I said how do you figure that's the case he was like because if i throw some money at you like you would give me some like i can get it from whoever i want as long as i i can pay them for it or something i was like well yeah if you're throwing money at somebody and you're telling them here's this for this yeah that's a that mean you own them he was like he was like no i'm just saying you know you know if you if i act if i need if if women you know all women need just they just want you to pay for stuff and then they'll just do whatever you want and i was just like oh okay so now i'm offended because i'm like even if you think this way right you don't say that around somebody that you're trying to like have sex with right so while i'm laying in the bed like i'm like usually like obviously most time i don't actually wear like full-on clothes like i may have a t-shirt so i had like a t-shirt on so like as we're laying in bed i like pull put my my underwear on and you know he was like what are you doing i was like nothing he's like he's like what are you mad i said no i'm not mad but I'm just trying to figure out what bills you paid in here that you think you owe me. He was like, no, 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 no. I'm not talking about you. I'm just saying in general, but I'm not talking about you specifically because you don't let me help you with anything anyway, whatever, whatever. You don't let me help you. You don't let me do anything or whatever like that. I was just like, I'm, and I'm, and I, and this is why, because you, that's your mentality. Like I knew, I know you're, I knew you were that tight, but I didn't think he would actually say it out loud to me. He was like, well, no, I'm not like saying it about you specifically. Like you're different. I'm like, it don't matter if you think I'm different. You know, you disrespecting the, the community that I'm a part of altogether. Like I may, you may look at me like I'm different, but I'm still a woman. Like you don't say stuff like that to women. I don't, I don't care. Like if that's what you think, you know, and I think people have gotten so comfortable. And this is when I realized like, People have gotten so comfortable being disrespectful that they don't even realize that it's disrespectful anymore. Like, barbershop talk is not talk that you talk in front of a woman. The shit that I talk about with my girlfriends and, like, my guy friends, I don't speak about, I don't, like, we, like, like, you know what I say, if you check my group text, you, you, your feelings gonna be hurt, like, that's what those spaces are for like you don't say certain things in front of certain people i don't care what type of level of honesty or truth that you think it holds like the level of disrespect that people think that is okay to express out in the, you can say whatever you want to say i freedom of speech whatever all of that good for you but don't think that that doesn't come with a response because you going to get the response and you're not going to like the response. And then you'll be sitting there like, well, I can say whatever I want. You can say whatever you want, but be prepared for whatever response you're going to get. Like people just have no, have so much lack of seriously empathy, so much lack of integrity, so much lack of just common decency. Okay. Saying whatever you want, being, having an opinion is everyone can have an opinion, but people really need to learn but there is still a level of respect you need to have for somebody like and i i was like i was like i was like i don't know what y'all talk about in the barbershop but this is how this conversation where i said i don't know what y'all talk about in the barbershop but whatever that is you don't bring that here don't say stuff like that to me or any other female that you're dating first of all number two especially a woman i was like you're not paying no bills up in here 
You haven't paid a bill up in here since I started talking to you. Not that I've asked you to, not that I've looked for, to, looked for you to, and not that I've expected you to. But you don't say stuff like that. He was like, well, I would pay a bill in here if you would let me. No, because then you're going to think you own me. And you just, he was like, well, no, I'm not going to say I would own you specifically. I'm just saying there are women out there. I said, no. There's no exception to saying something like that. And I was so annoyed. And so he was like, he was like, oh, so you, I got to leave now? I said, you damn sure ain't getting none. You got some already. And granted, he used to be mad because like anytime we would like sleep together, it was always like <laughs> on my terms. Like it would always be like when I called, like every time he called, I purposely said no. Like I can be sitting in the house doing absolutely nothing. And he would call me and be like, oh, what are you doing? I'd be like, oh, I'm in the house. Oh, can I come over? No. And then I would call him like if whenever I wanted. And he would come, whatever. And I was like, and I wanted to bring up stuff like that. But I'm just like, it don't even make sense to go back and forth with you. But what you just said was out of place, out of line. Like, this is ridiculous. Like, if you think that that was okay to say in front of me, that is pure disrespect that you thought that I was okay. Like I said, everybody can think whatever it is that they want to think. I've thought some pretty messed up stuff about people before. I'm not, I'm a hundred percent no that I have, but I would never say it to them. Okay. Like there is a level of one, like respect, like, <laughs> I was so mad. I was like so mad. And then he so he was like, oh, he's going to so he started getting up, putting his stuff on. He got mad. He was so mad. He was so I was like, yes. I was like, <laughs> he was so mad. He's like, I can't believe you. You acting like a dude. See, this is the problem. You don't open up. You you always want to be closed off. And I'm just like, what does me open up have to do with any of this? Don't try to flip it, boo. I don't know what me opening up have to do with anything. My, my react, we're not even having a conversation about me opening up. We're having a conversation about you saying that men own. And I was like, we hadn't spoken in a while. Like we, after that, I, I stopped talking to him. I blocked him and everything. Stopped talking to him, stopped talking to him. And then um, when I got my new phone, I, you know, all the numbers that were blocked, obviously I had to re-block them and, his number wasn't saved in my phone, so it wasn't blocked. So he eventually reached out at some point around my birthday, the following year of last year, 2020. He had reached out around my birthday and he brought me a gift and like gave me some money or something like that. And that was it. I've never seen him again since. Um, I told him, I was like, you know, it was cool. Like it was cool. While it lasted. And I lasted. I told him, I was like, regardless of the conversation that we had or that that incident, like we weren't going to ever like be together. Like that was so like us not talking again didn't bother me. It was fine. It's like not a big deal. But I still had to let you know that what you said in that moment was not okay and it was disrespectful um and that was it like we i don't have any beef with him no problems with him i just didn't find the need to continue dealing with someone like that even though it was the one off but at the same time he wasn't somebody that i saw myself with so there was no point of even like making it work for some, like you know what i mean there, there was no um substance for me to even like continue it going like it wasn't that big of a deal the sex was eh, mediocre it was the actual sex itself was mediocre you know the the downstairs job i'll give it a you know eight out of ten the sex itself five out of ten you know it wasn't anything to like ride home about it wasn't you know it was short-lived i was fine with it you pissed me off and that was it you know it was the first time we've ever argued like argued and weren't even like yelling I was like literally talking like how I was talking in this video but it was just so funny and honestly I think looking back at it I think he got he had gotten comfortable because we did talk as friends you know that kitchen table talk kind of stuff that's your business but you got to be aware of where you are and where you say certain things and you you he was just like oh i, I don't know like it, it was just like you 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 were you were standing outside of your body for a second because you didn't even realize you forgot where you were and whose house you were at because you know 
that that one flew with me. And he was like, I know, and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, that was it. But it was cool. It was a nice little experience. I don't mind. He's cool. We call him Killer because... You know, it was some some things that happened. You know, he caught a case in the midst of us talking. With it actually after after that incident, when when I never talked to him, he actually caught a case shortly after that. Actually, and um, I don't know if he ended up going to the jail because I know COVID and stuff happened in the midst of that. Because um, it went into the you know 2020, and so we always called him killer, like not because he actually killed anybody, but he did shoot somebody, and it probably wasn't the first time that he shot somebody but it was it, it was a lot it was a lot that was going on um with him after we stopped talking because again one of my friends how i met him was because he knew one of my good friends so i knew he had caught a case and things had happened after that so i always called him killer and um that was his name and he's cool dude i'm not gonna lie he's a cool dude up until that moment and i was like yeah what we're not going to do is that. Um, and that was it. And that was the end of that story. It wasn't that big, wasn't that deep, but it was, it was, it was a good time while it lasted. And, um, you know, I don't really have any hate for anybody that you, I don't got no hate my heart for him either. He just not somebody that I can, um, talk to on a regular basis. Um, so yeah, that is it for killer. Um, if you guys like that story, let me know comment down below if you got any similar stories or similar conversations you've had with people let me know i think i'm gonna do um one more and it's actually short and today i'm actually gonna do one more and um yeah we'll go from there and see what's with that but i want to do one more because this one is really really quick so i'll be back